Well, it's finally happening. The next iteration of the Meta AI smart glasses are just around the corner and, well, they're a little different than what I would have expected. I've been using the Meta Ray-Bans for two weeks now and as always, I forget to Google when the next thing is going to come out because if I did, I probably wouldn't have gotten these. But at the same time, I'm kind of happy I did because the Oakley Metas, they, they don't look particularly all that well. They kind of remind me a lot of the Snapchat spectacles, <laughs> at least in the colorway that they have shown. But the good news is that the black pair, in my opinion, looks a lot better and it hides the cameras a bit better as well. What do you guys think? Of course, I will be getting the Oakley Metas and I'll be comparing them to the Ray-Ban Metas all the way from the battery to the video quality to the audio quality to the speakers, noise, everything. So if you guys want to see that, definitely subscribe. So the Oakley Metas, they upgrade basically everything from the Ray-Ban Metas. And oh, by the way, I'll be including some shots from the Ray-Ban Metas in this video. So maybe if you guys don't want to spend that extra money on the Oakleys and maybe you just want to get the Ray-Bans instead, you at least know how they look like and maybe this is enough for you. Now, the biggest downside, in my opinion, of the Ray-Ban Metas, at least from the two weeks that I've been using them, is the battery life. Now, personally, I haven't run into the situation where I completely killed them, but that's because of how conscious I am while using them. 10 or so photos here and there, 10 or so videos here and there, and a little bit of AI sprinkled, you know, with some basic prompts like what's the weather for today. And yeah, you can expect them to last around, you know, four, four hours, maybe a little bit less. However, you know, I took them, like I said, to Florida on that road trip from North Carolina. They lasted six hours. But on the other hand, I did barely use them. I just used them for a few phone calls, a few AI prompts, and they did last me six hours. But then again, I never took a photo and no videos. Well, the Oakley Metas have increased that rough four hours of normal use all the way up to eight hours, which is absolutely nuts. Double the battery life. But not only that, I would be okay with just that because like I said, that's like the biggest downside that a lot of people have with the Ray-Ban Metas, but they also increased the resolution and it's not like a little tiny bump. It's a massive bump. So the Ray-Ban Metas, they roughly record in around 1440p which is good. It's better than just straight normal 1080p. But the Oakley Metas, yeah, they're going to be recording at 3K resolution. So that's a big jump. Unfortunately, though, you can only still record vertically, which I mean, look, this is not going to be changing. You know, Meta owns Instagram. They own WhatsApp. They own Facebook. A lot of those social media apps where most content is vertical. So it kind of makes sense for them to make a product that records vertically. It's kind of hard to knock on a product that doesn't do what it's not meant to do. You know what I mean? It's like saying, oh, I'm so sad my BMW it does, can't go rock crawling. You know, like, yeah. Now, the battery life of the case will increase that eight hours of total usage to 48 hours of total usage. So you can use the Oakley Metas. If they last eight hours, boom, you charge them up again. You charge them up again. You can do that up until you reach that 48 hour mark, which again is super good for road trips, backpacking, going out on the boat on the long day, whatever you want. Now, here's where I wish the differences stopped, but unfortunately, there is the price difference, right? These are more expensive than the Ray-Ban Metas. So they start at $399 and the limited edition, special edition version that uh, that looks a bit wonky in my opinion. Yeah, that's $499. But at the same time, it's not really a shock considering all the upgrades that the Oakleys have over the Ray-Bans. However, I do wish Meta would also you know, refresh the Ray-Ban Metas, maybe add in a silicon carbon battery so you can get another hour, hour and a half out of them. Maybe, you know, a, a little a little refresh, maybe also increase the camera to 3K resolution. We're still waiting for that. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but we'll see. I am a little bit upset at Meta for not increasing the water resistancy or the dust resistancy of the Oakleys, considering that they're Oakleys. Oakley's, in my opinion, are kind of meant for like the outdoor person. In fact, if you look on Oakley's website, most of the people there, they're doing something outdoors. They're not just, you know, kicking back on the couch watching some TV, although you can do that, but they're not marketed like that. The Oakley and the Ray-Bans have the same dust and water resistancy, so IPX4, meaning they're not dust protected at all. And the four in the IPX4, meaning it can survive some splashes here and there, but 
I wouldn't risk it personally because uh, your your stuff isn't covered uh, by water damage. So keep that in mind. So if you're a surfer and you wanted to catch some sick POVs of you crashing out in the ocean, not going to happen. Well, it, it can happen just once and then never again because they're not going to make it. But then again, you might not either. So, you know, who knows? Now you can pre-order the Oakley Metas starting on the 11th of July, I believe. And that's only for the, I'm sorry, but that's only for the ugly uh, limited edition ones. It's funny that they made the ugly ones limited edition, which might be a good thing that they're limited edition because of how ugly they are. I'm sorry, I just can't get over how bad they look, in my opinion. I own a lot of Oakleys and I would never get those. <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, I will because I'm gonna be doing a review and honestly, I'm going to be buying the black ones later on anyway, so yeah. But anyway, July 11, pre-order date, $4.99. The rest come out later in the summer. I assume maybe towards the end of August, beginning of September, maybe. We'll see. So are you guys going to be buying a pair of the Oakley Metas? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm super excited for that double battery life. I think that's like the biggest reason to upgrade. In terms of that 3K resolution, it's super good to have, especially if you want to, if you want to, you know, uh, what's that word called? Crop. If you want to crop that vertical video in to fit a horizontal timeline, that's going to look a whole lot better than cropping into 1440p video. So you could still probably make horizontal video work, in fact, a lot better than the Ray-Ban meta. So we'll see. I will be comparing everything so you guys won't have to. Uh, so yeah, stick around. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely click that like button. And if you're new here and you like no BS tech videos, definitely subscribe. And as always, this was Mark from Mark's Tech. Adios.